Hey, my beautiful Sagittarians. Last but not least on my list for May 2020. And I always believe in divine timing and when the timing is right for each sign. Wow. I'm really feeling you guys, man. You want to charge forward with fearlessness, ooh, freedom, devoid of anxiety. So we're bringing in a lot of that peace and tranquility. We're going to get to all the cards. I've got the right of weight. I've got the gilded. I've got the good. I got the romance angels and, you know, some other, what is this one? The energy oracle and the mermaid. So let's get to it because you guys need to know that this is some big, 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 big changes happening for you. And I don't normally get all excited about stuff like this because you know um here we are in quarantine you guys kind of know what's going on but tomorrow uh may 13th it's a 1313 code of venus venus is going retrograde but it is also a time that the divine feminine we're going to go for a romance angel card first for Sagittarius for May. Oh, well, well, wouldn't you know? I mean, I did call in Lord Shiva, Serapis Bay, Isis flew out for you. Didn't want you to wait for that. Normally they take their time, but they all came out. So you're going through a transcendence, a ascension. Isis and all the ancient Egyptians are here and Lord Shiva from India. Oh, third eye is opening and you are calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations and now the new word is feelization we want to feel the feelings of how that person makes us uh, when they're in the, our presence and we know that we're ascending together Here's Serapis Bay, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. The divine feminine is totally being recognized inside the divine masculine. My magical manifestors, your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused, stay focused is your message from the divine and the collective spirit guides of Sagittarius calling in your soulmate so important. We're going to set these aside and I'm going to, this was, <clears throat> I cleared the cards and did a crystal grid and we'll definitely shuffle. This isn't a magic show, even though I got the Madonna gloves on, wanted to bring out the white gloves for you, my Sagittarians. Listen, if I was going to be in a foxhole or, or be stuck anywhere in spiritual quarantine it would be with a Sagittarian don't tell anybody because you guys uh, storytellers amazing vision for the future fearless spirit guides and angels what do we have for our beautiful Sagittarians for May 2020 I know that full moon really made you feel kind of okay being home you probably have been working in the yard, painting, spirit guides and angels. Bring us the messages for Sagittarius in love and life path. Since we're calling in their soulmate, that's a beautiful thing. Sometimes those romance angel cards, I get a little nervous. I never stop a video. I upload, oh, I think, 99.9 .9 of all. I, so interesting. I, I love having the Fool come out for you first because it's the first card in the Tarot. It's your new journey, completely new. This guy is not the Fool you think him to be. He's got the King's Ear. He knows he's got the balancing act of wisdom now. I think he's already been around the block and he's coming back for a new adventure, taking that leap of faith. You know, more insights are being born at this time. Newness, there could be new babies coming, new friendships are, uh, that are forming and others falling away. Being your authentic self is so important right now, Sagittarius, and 2020 is seeing clearly. Mm-hmm. 
So we have all these retrogrades coming up and that beautiful Venus retrograde is also uh, today. Oh my God. Yeah. So the divine feminine, my dears and my dams <laughs> are coming into union in a more spiritual way, in a transcendent way. That soulmate, that twin flame, send them love telepathically because you are so powerful at this time with the 1313 code. 13 was uh, suppressed by the patriarchs and they did not let the divine feminine rise. Well, guess what? She's risen and the divine masculine knows who she truly is and how she can help heal our lives keep us grounded. Lovely. Thank you, Venus. I used to have the beautiful Botticelli Birth of Venus poster, hello, um, in my home and it wasn't really big. It was probably an eight by 10 or something like that. And then I went to Florence in the, in the Academia. No, it was the Academia is where uh, David, uh, Michelangelo's David statue is uh, fantastic. You go in there and you weep, just weep. If there's not too many tourists, but um, Botticelli's Birth of Venus was on a complete wall. It was like a twenty-five by t by fifteen. I was and and just right outside the door, you could see the Ponte Vecchio over the Orno. There should the, I mean, my God, you guys really. Here is the Eight of Cups walking into the Two of Cups. Yeah, doesn't that look like a journey? A new start? A lighter load? Feng Shui? Getting rid of the old stuff? Listen, I know my roommate has a bunch of his grandma's stuff, he, uh, his mom's stuff. It can't get rid of it. And you know, and until you actually move, I tell you, because I've moved so many times, you don't really get rid of all that stuff. But you need a lighter load for this a second journey. And I feel that you're walking away from the past, hurts, pains, disappointments, and the good times. There were a lot of good times too. And you're going into this new love. I'm breaking that out because she's come out a couple of times. She, spirit guides and angels, what do you have for May? This Venus, all these retrogrades happening. I see you're making your home a very comfortable place to be. You're changing things up and making it warmer, more inviting. Even though nobody's coming over, you're getting ready for when they do. Spirit guides and angels, what are the messages for Sagittarius? We call an Isis, Serapis Bay, Lord Shiva to bring us the highest and best messages for these divine souls, the collective Sagittarians for May 2020. Spirit guides and angels, what are your messages for their path forward? Wow, there's that, oh, Knight of Cups. Ooh, I think you guys have been really working hard, charging forward with your passions. Just a side note here, you've been really zooming and getting the emails done, job searching, finding new ways of making money that resonate with you. I also feel that you could be working on ancestry things, um, putting together things from the past. A lot of cups here, a lot of cups here, putting things together from the past that you did enjoy, that you did love. That's who's made you who you are right now. So you're looking back at possibly like, why am I the way I am? What is my ancestry? Where did I come from? Ireland? I'm half Irish. We're good storytellers. When I went to Ireland, I was like, oh my God, these are my people. <laughs> they, yeah, when you go to the butcher, it takes a while because everybody's got to tell their story and chat it up. And then maybe, maybe from your, from another culture, uh, Italian, where you're really great at cooking and family and, and making traditions, something about ancestry and getting to know who you are through your DNA. It's going to help heal a lot of that past so that you can move forward in a freer way. Aww. And there's the chariot. 
I'm telling you, it's like a new direction, a new direction forward that maybe I, I kind of feel like the hangman. You've taken some time to reevaluate what is worthwhile. What what has meaning for you? Where do you want to spend your time in your day when you put your feet down off of the bed and say, thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful day. I'm so excited to get going on this project, this uh, new idea. It could be a side gig for making money. Ooh, here's somebody flying out. Mm, mm, two of swords. She's not wanting to come up off the f interesting two of swords. <sighs> Do you, I've never noticed this before you guys. Look at this blindfold that almost seems like a uh, virtual reality. Wow. This is not about the two of swords. This is about this blindfold here that is taking the time to meditate and have new visions that are coming to you. Your insights are, are being illuminated. Great ideas come through meditation and magical manifesting. See in your mind's eye when you close your eyes that soulmate that you want to ascend with. Who are they? Write it out. I feel with this Venus retrograde, uh, it's a time where you're saying, mm, no more of this. I want more of this. So take the time to meditate and go within and see how it's going to feel when you are with that person. It's about feelization, my new word. Mm -hmm. And if some of you have been putting up with that in and out, I think that you're out. Peace out. Hey, Madonna gloves. Guess what? I got the Madonna hair now, you guys. Oh, my God. Check this out. The roots. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. <sighs> Oh, one time my goddaughter, oh, and look at her kids sent me this beautiful Mother's Day card. But Amy, my goddaughter, she lived with me when she was, say, 18. And I remember her saying, Mary, how do you dye your roots black like Madonna? <laughs> so funny. I love my girls. Oh, there she is. Let me show you a picture of her. This is at my daughter's wedding. There's Amy, Angela, Molly, and me. Amy, Angela, and they all have their own kids now, which are my, you know, love Skyping. Okay, three of wands. Yeah. Are we moving into our dreams? Are we waiting for the ship to come in? Have we written into the universal uh, uh, reservation? What am I trying to say? <laughs> have we, you know, it's almost like you put a wish into the universe, right? Then you have to expect it to come. Without the anxiety, I feel you guys have let go of a lot of that and say, yeah, I'm going to claim this. It's coming. Where's my little, we claim this for Sagittarius to bring in this new love, this new vision, this new life, calling in their soulmate and their twin flame. Let's see. What do we have to do to get there? Mm. Soulmate, six of cups. Whew, you could be meeting this person in a virtual high school reunion. Interesting. Virtual reunion. Uh-oh. Cards are getting all flipped around. Flipped. Yeah, here's like this virtual. I, I noticed the nine of cups did flip around. And that is your wish is fulfilled. But I see with all these, this nine of cups, it's almost like you come into this celebration of Maybe you're meeting somebody on this Zoom that tickles your fancy and you take some time to get to know him or her, King of Cups. And you end up finding out that you both believe in astrology and mythology and um, love the mysteries and the occult. And the occult is just things that are hidden. It's not a bad thing. And... The nice thing about the universe and God and angels and guides is they don't, we don't want them to show up like we're not prophets. We can't handle it if they 
showed up right in front of us. So they give us these beautiful signs and symbols, right? You know, think of the ancient Egyptians, all the beautiful signs and symbols that helped them ascend, knowing that they were gods within and they created their own life because they controlled their own thoughts. Okay. Oh, oh, do I have two, three of wands in this deck? Oh my God, you guys, this has never happened. I didn't know that. <gasps> I must have been doing a reading a way back and clarified and these came out. So that was definitely meant for you guys. Three of wands. I almost want to get the good tarot and just read a, bit, a little bit about the three of wands if you indulge me a minute because you guys are, are really moving into a beautiful, beautiful space. Three of, okay, they do it a little bit different different here it's um uh messengers of earth earth and fire three of fire wow yeah expansion of opportunities the fullness of creativity okay i am one on the right path toward my success i have an abundance of opportunity before me I need to trust myself where I can make good choices for myself and co-create situations and relationships that are in harmony with my heart's desire. The green cloak is the heart's desire. Getting that twice. I feel like tomorrow the 13th, something big is going to happen on a global scale when it comes to women um, and stepping up and speaking the truth. So... I don't know. I just feel like we're taking on the establishment, my divine feminines. Nine of Pentacles. Standing in your power. Absolutely. Oh, that was the other one I absolutely love out of the, uh, the good tarot. The Nine of Pentacles. You guys have got to hear this. Listen. Okay. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom right after the three. Discipline. Uh, Disciplined self oh, I can't hold on. Disciplined self reliance, reliable resource, restraint, and self control. See, I needed to slow down. The final stone placed in the foundation. I know I can rely on myself and spirit. There are many tools at my disposal. I use my resources wisely, solidifying the foundation of my security in the material world. I am diligent and disciplined. I focus on completing the work I began long ago. I stick to my program, trusting that the plan is unfolding before me exactly as spirit intended. Wow. Wow. Exactly how spirit intended. Spirit guides, thank you for these beautiful messages. And we're going to get to it, you guys. What is it that my Sagittarians need to know? You guys already know. Oh my God, it's the High Priestess. Come on. You are going to be receiving these amazing downloads from the Akashic Records, your spirit guides, your ancestors. Sheesh. Amazing. And I think abundance is not a problem for you now. Um, I think you're also, if uh, home, like I said, feels like it's very important to you. You could be spending time reading and educating your own children, doing that homeschooling as a teacher, Knight of Pentacles, learning, studying a situation before you rush off and jump into it. Let's get a, uh, let's do a couple of clarifying spirit guides and angels. Tell us more about this Two of Cups. And this new beginning in love, this new life, what are some of the signposts along the way that my beautiful Sagittarians may need to know? What is it that messages? Tell us more about this Two of Cups. Clarify this new journey with this soulmate. The Hermit. A Virgo could be a Virgo. Wow, it's a very spiritual card of going within, which we've all been doing, and now shining your light and saying, you know what, this is who I am. Whether you're coming out of the closet, whether you are being honest with your lovers, lovers is the word, 
um, come out and, and be truthful and be honest. It's okay. You know, get your freak on, but, you know, let everybody know who you truly are. Okay? Be honest in your intimate relationships. Spirit guides and angels, give us angels advice. Wow. Two of wands and the ten of cups. And when you do, you are moving. You, you hold the world in the palm of your hand. And you made that choice that you're going forward for total fulfillment. I see a living on a farm and, you know, old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-O. That was the first song I taught my grandson. I just feel that the, the home is, is where you the heart is and you are going to be happy there. Your relationship is bringing you that emotional fulfillment. You're really looking forward to this. Oh, I think you're going to be hearing news about it as well. Tell us more about this Two of Cups. Who is this divine couple? Who is this divine couple standing here with their children? Oh, Nine of Swords. You guys, I know you may be waking up in the middle of the night. Um, let that go. Woo! <laughs> you listen of course when you've got money you don't got money you're always concerned about money the nine of swords is saying yeah save hold on get off of amazon prime Ooh, that was a message for me our addictions to spending to doing things <sighs> have a little bit more discernment what are the messages for Sagittarius Who's this divine couple the ten of cups thank you for liking and subscribing you guys I really appreciate it Woo! Venus is showing up look at that the Empress the star and the Queen of Pentacles very healing Nurturing yourself, Queen of Pente Pentacles, is about your physical body as well. And the Empress is pregnant with uh, opportunity, loving nature. Look at her crown. And she also holds that wand like the magician. There's the Venus symbol being connected to Mother Earth, walking on the, walking on the water. <laughs> Ooh, I've had dreams about that. You guys ever see that really fun movie? You may, if you if you get a chance, it might cost a little bit of money on Prime. Um, Ever After with Drew Barrymore, and uh, it's filmed in France in my favorite place in the Dordogne. <gasps> These ancient villages, you guys. L look at this picture. This is a, a picture I took in France, very close to the villages that uh, that movie's portrayed. So cool. I think it's portrayed about portrayed in about the eight sixteen hundreds. Oh, what? no, no, no. Leonardo da Vinci is in it. So he's walking on water with these funny shoes and she's floating in the water. Anyway, you got to see that movies for somebody ever after. Uh, she rescues the prince. <gasps> That's it. That's it. That's it. You are the one that rescues the prince. Mm -hmm. And he wakes up because of you because of your crown chakra being lit, because of you being in harmony and balance, your immune system is strong, you're taking care of yourself, and you're really grounded. Lovely, because you go within. Okay, okay, let's get a good tarot. Top off this beautiful message is for you, for Sagittarius, May 2020. That new moon, too. What is something about that new moon? It's going to be in Gemini, uh, partnership, business. Voila, six of water. Ooh, soulmate, dreaming, visualizing. Didn't we talk about this over and over again? You're calling in your soulmate. Six of water, they're coming. You can see it. You see it. It's a healing water. One foot on the real world and one foot in the spiritual world. Please use the magic that the universe has given us of the laws of the of attraction, the secrets of attraction, all of those books, right? Mm. 
And if one of you wants a good love story, it's called A Thousand Days in Venice. I'm just looking over at my Venice. I don't have that book. I think I gave it away. But she wrote others like A Thousand D Days in Tuscany. Um, let's get a... So I think that Six of Water was a good enough card from that deck. And I want to utilize my energy oracle to see what is it that maybe we still have to clear out. Wow, I, I, I just feel you have a big role to play in this partnership. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, when I see the man holding a coin and you two and thinking about you two, it's almost like there's a partnership coming. Gemini, new moon on the 22nd. Gemini is two, two lovers, two partners. Yeah, you're paying a big role in this. You're using your imagination, your communication skills, short-term travel may be happening. Uh, during this Venus retrograde, do not have any illusions, delusions. Take your time. If you need to sign a contract, I would wait until June 23rd or 24th. But so many things are going retrograde. I think you're going back and looking at opportunities and ideas that you want to bring to fruition and bring it out there to the world. You are on this new path, my divine souls. The uh, Venus going retrograde today or tomorrow, and whew, I just feel the divine feminine is playing a huge role in creating this soulmate union that you've been calling in for some time. And wake up, listen to your own intuition, because you do know what to do to bring in this happy family. Okay, you're grounded and healing. You take the time to start this beautiful new beginning. And you're getting out of scarcity and worry. Okay. Um, Three of Wands twice is, is telling you this is your new adventure. Follow your heart, the green cloak of protection. And that seagull is your spirit guides watching over you. You do know what to do. All right, my divine souls, I send you love and healing light always. When you like and subscribe and share, it means everything to me. If you want a private reading, they're only $22 for 25 minutes of a personal video for your love life. Just email me, mysticwisdomtarot at gmail.com, link below. Love and light, my divine souls. Ciao, Bella. Namaste.